What's up, Christian here, and today I'm gonna to share with you the top five themes to use if you are a clothing store, and I'm gonna show you at the end of this video how to get the theme, use it, customize it for free before even purchasing anything. Let's get started. All right, so always, as always, just wanna preface these uh, theme suggestions. These are just our opinions and some of the themes that we've used within Shopify. And again, we try to stick with themes that Shopify provides in their store. They usually tend to have the best support and the best organization and structure. Um, we try to stay away from the themeforest.com, which is, I mean, it could be nothing wrong with them, but we just haven't had the best experience with those type of themes. So starting at number one is warehouse. Now warehouse is designed to be uh, for large catalogs of products. So if, if your store or clothing store that has a lot of different products, maybe you have shirts, dresses, pants, hats, jewelry, a little bit of everything, then warehouse is gonna be really good for you. So I'm gonna jump in here and kind of show you how the back end, or not the back end, just an example, right, of, of a preview of, the, of one of the theme styles for warehouse. So this one has, um, again, a lot, an emphasis, right, on the large catalog. So as you can see, one of the main things here is a search bar, right, where you can actually uh, highlight different categories and search within those categories. So um, besides the, the search and the nice navigation, and then log in the account, the card over here, then on this homepage, we also have a good breakdown of different categories, right? So these different categories, again, could be from beanies and accessories, to running in shoes, to actually phone cases. So a large wide variety of products. I love that. I really, really like on this one in particular, um, what they call the, uh, the different color uh, options for the, for the products. So it shows you right there from within the, the product collection where this shoe in particular could be different products, different colors. I'm sorry, not different products, different colors. Uh, it shows you the reviews and it also has the option to show you how many units are in stock. So again, talking about a large inventory uh, of products, it might be good to showcase, you know, how many you have um, in stock. I also like the option that, you know, it shows you add to cart if it's just one, one variant or if it has different colors, uh, maybe different sizes and things like that, then the button changes to say choose options. So when you click on choose options, it actually takes you to uh, the product uh, page where you have just more information about the product. Um, I love this zoom feature. You can see this on Amazon. So again, this theme reminds me very much so of, of Amazon. And again, a large inventory theme. Then this one also has integrated customer reviews. So you don't have to add any additional app to get customer reviews on the theme. Nice. Some of the other things that I'm gonna to talk to you about today have um, what I would call sections, right, within the product page. This one doesn't have too much. Uh, it does have the description, right, a little bit of features or reviews. And then it jumps to the, you may also like, so product suggestions, and then just a simple category breakdown at the bottom. Other themes that I'm gonna be talking about today, um, use what I call, it's called product section. So the same product section that you'll see on the homepage, they'll use them on the product page, which is pretty nice. So again, large products, large category products or catalog products, definitely wanna check out Warehouse and uh, yeah, play around with the different theme styles because it will give you a better idea of, maybe yours is not necessarily this sort of adventure style type store. So the different theme styles, if you click on the breakdown, it will give you just a different look and feel for that particular theme. So if we click on this other one, you see it completely changes the vibe, right? It changes the color, it changes the imagery. Um, and it may give you a better idea on like whether or not this is gonna be a good thing for you. Before we move on to number two, I just wanna say welcome to everyone new. My name is Christian Pignon, one of the co-founders here at Bay Branding. We've been helping frustrated store owners since 2015 become impactful store owners through tutorials, tactics, and strategies. Now, if you wanna support our channel, the best way you can do that is by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications. All right, so number two is Spark. This one is a pretty new-ish theme to the, to the store and it's a highly versatile theme and is designed for high impact sales and it's super easy to use. I love, love, love the clean and sort of futuristic look to it. Um, it doesn't look necessarily like any other store out there. Um, it has big bold letters, big buttons, um, reviews, that's kind of nice. So I would say this is probably for a smaller inventory um, stock. And I really, really like just the, yeah, the overall look of it. It's just clean, it's bold, and it looks very modern compared to some of the other ones out there. Now let's go to, just showing you a little bit of the homepage, go to men's, then, so this one in particular is just showing you sunglasses. So um, it has, again, big blocks, changes the picture. Um, 
whenever you hover over certain items. And then let's go to one of these. I can show you, I believe this theme in particular has um, what I was talking about earlier, which is the sections within the product page. So if you want an opportunity to talk a little bit about more about your company or the products, then this theme is for you. Um, something that I really like about this is because it has those sections and it may make this product page a little bit long, a longer scroll then when you start scrolling, you can see here at the bottom, it still has the buy it now button and what product you're in, the pricing. So it gives you a little bit of information along with the buy, but, buy now button. And that just follows you everywhere as you're scrolling down, which is pretty cool. You have customer reviews already baked in in here as well. And then you have like, these are like the um, sort of like highlights or features, right? Of your company, free shipping, no hassle returns, gift card. So it's just, again, a little bit more sections to the product page in order to uh, get customers to purchase your product. Another thing that I like about this theme and some of the newer themes that are coming out to the Shopify uh, app theme store are is, is the ability to uh, create custom pages that actually have sections as well. So this about page um, also has sections. It has this photo grid in here. And then this was a pretty simple one, right? And then it has the uh, a little paragraph and then it has frequently asked questions with the accordion integrated in there. So in order for them to be able, for you to be able to do this particular type of about page, um, you can actually create it within the customize where you have sections right within the about page. A lot of the older themes, they don't support this. Also something that I really like about these newer themes is they support the new Shopify product media. So now you can actually put images as long as, as well as videos, right? To your products. Now, not all themes out there support the actual video aspect of it. This one in particular, it does. And a lot of the newer ones, they do support the video. So we're out of place a video right there from the product grid. Um, I, don't, I couldn't find an example for this one. They do have it as part of their, their list of, of features. All right, don't forget at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to install these for free, customize them for free, make sure that they have all the features that you actually want for free before paying anything. Um, so stick around for that. All right, number three is Impulse. <laughs> we've actually talked about Impulse in some of our past videos, and we've used this theme for quite a few of our customers. And though I would say the, the number one feature that this theme has overall is uh, promotions and discounts and promoting different things throughout the site. Uh, I haven't seen any other theme that does this or does it as well or as often as this Impulse theme. Um, as well as having these uh, promotions, right? Site-wide promotions. Um, it's also a very clean, modern uh, website and it can support a larger inventory catalog. Uh, depending on the products that you have. Um, so just to show you a little bit of that, uh, right here on the homepage, we have this up to 50% off select dresses, up to 25% off summer tops. And you see like it has that line work in there with the, the pictures in the background, and then it has the different font sizes in here. This, these are all of these different, like the 50% and then the off and the select dresses, all of that you can actually manipulate in the back end when you're customizing it. And when you go into, for example, let's go to like a product. Here we have the banner, and then this one also supports the um, the sections that I was talking about in the spark theme. So for example, this one has the reviews, then it has a locally crafted made in California. It has perfectly tailored section, lightweight fabric, um, and then house also products that you may like. Now let's go to a, see here's some of the promotions that I was talking about. Summer savings, save an additional 10%, all clearance items, shop now. So that particular section right there on the uh, collection page is something that is integrated within the theme, which is really, really nice. Um, it also has a really good filtering and navigation. So if you see on the here on the left-hand side has that drawer um, where you can select by color and then sleeve length, um, et cetera. The cool thing about these uh, color swatches is that it supports all the CSS colors. So, um, and you can also customize them. So if you have a product that, for example, is camo, you can actually uh, upload an image, right? A four by four or 10 by 10 image of camo, with that pattern, and you can add it as a color right in your store. So it doesn't only support the CSS colors, but you can also add additional colors to the color palette and the color swatches all throughout the site, which is really nice. It also shows you, just like the other theme, the warehouse one, it shows you if it has different colors right there within the collection list page, you can see different colors for that particular product, which helps you sell more items. I love the quick view as well. Quick view, anytime there's quick view, um, I like those because you can just click on it. It just shows you a quick preview of the actual product page. So it doesn't show you all the extra stuff, all the extra sections that we just saw, but it just shows you the size, pricing, product description, different images, um, and that way, customers are able to just shop a little bit easier. All right, there you have it. So Impulse, again, if you're running promotions and you want to sort of uh, be able to uh, promote different things on different pages, homepage, collection page, product pages, then this theme is really, really good for interwoven 
those promotions all throughout the site. I do wanna mention real quick, we do have another video where I go over just like some of the top five themes overall, not necessarily for clothing, but that you need to check out. So there's a few different themes in there, so you can check out this video right here. All right, so number four is Artisan. Artisan used to be in the theme store, now it went away and now it came back. So uh, the thing about this particular theme is that it started as more of a service-based, you know, for service-based businesses, but it works for both services and products. So if you're a clothing store that offers, I don't know, maybe a, um, a styling session or something like that, right? Maybe you do a Zoom styling session where you consult with the customer on what to wear, et cetera. You can actually add these within this particular theme. So you have services here at the top, you see? But on the homepage, I'm gonna show you this particular section that is pretty cool because it shows you the, what they call, okay, yeah, pretty similar to what I was talking about, the style service bundle. So you have a wardrobe review, a style revamp, a VIP image overhaul. So it gives you an opportunity to talk about those things within the homepage um, with this section, breaking down those services. Uh, let's click on more info. And again, just very similar to like a normal product page. It just has a description, again, customer reviews and other products that you may like. So pretty simple, it doesn't have the additional sections in here, just an opportunity for you to provide other things than just the products. Now, the cool thing about it is that it also has the shop or the product section. So you can do dresses, for example, and um, it shows you all the products in here. Pretty clean um, overall. The, the What I like about this theme is that it's made by Out of the Sandbox. Um, they are awesome at creating these themes, so they're gonna be very clean, very fast um, websites. And, um, something else in here is they also include your more advanced pages, so like FAQ, for example, is included where it has the accordion here, and you can click on them and they expand. So this is built in already within the pages. Same with our story, where you can have a more customized about page or our story page without having to just have the simple just text and maybe a couple of images. Uh, this actually has sections within this about page so that you can do just a little bit more and tell a better story. Um, and then something else about this artisan is that you can create lookbooks or more of like product galleries, right? So under this lookbook, if I click on casual, you'll see here that you just have more of a um, image gallery, right? So some of the pictures are bigger, smaller. So it's just like a nice little collage, Pinterest style, um, gallery of product images and things that may be coming to your store soon. All right, and number five is Turbo. So along with the speed and performance power, Turbo is packed with high demand features. Um, they have product sliders, mega menus, interactive mini cart, infinite scrolling, they have a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm gonna show you here the example. Uh, Portland is one of the, the ones that they have. This is also, also made by Out of the Sandbox. Now this theme you will not find inside of the Shopify theme store. This is actually outside, so you'll have to go to outofthesandbox.com to go check it out. Um, this theme is super popular because it's super fast, right? And again, it has a bunch of different features that you would really want, right, on, on your store. Now, besides being super fast, they also have, I think, two options to make it ridiculously fast. I think it's like ludicrous. Very similar to like the Tesla uh, ludicrous mode where it makes the car just. Um, it also has live search. So you can, if I can click here, let's see. So the smart search basically changes the results. So it gives you a few results right there as you're you know, starting to type. So depending on what you have on your store, it will actually show you some results in here, which is pretty cool. Like I said, mega menus. If I click expand on shop, you'll see the mega menu with actual images where they're actually linked. So if, for example, this one has made, meet our lovely team um, as part of the shop, which probably doesn't make sense. You may wanna use those images for promotions or different things like that. And then let's go into some of these galleries. Again, left-hand side sidebar. Uh, filtering and navigation with, again, customized. This is what I was talking about earlier. So you see the specific print, for example, the sangria print or the warm lattice. Um, it does, it's not a specific color, it's actually an image or pattern. So you're able to customize those. So you actually better showcasing with the material color, right? And for people to just click on, not just like a blue, it's actually more of a print if they're looking for that. Um, I know the cheetah print, all that kind of stuff is pretty popular right now. So that will definitely help your customers find those products. All right, all right, all right, all right. As we promised, here at the end, now I'm gonna show you how to install one of these themes and customize it and not have to pay anything and actually see you know, what these uh, themes can actually do for us before we purchase. So I'm gonna go to, I'm, I'm signing under my Little Bit Streets account 
and then I clicked on online store. Then we're inside of themes. You can see we have venture installed right here. I'm gonna go and just click on visit the theme store and I'm gonna search for, so I wanna do Spark. The second one that we talked about today, do Spark, click on that one. And when you click on it, you can click on try theme. All right, so after you click on that button, it will actually load up the theme and you can kind of see what it can do, right? Cause you have all these sections, but they're just blank right now. They have placeholder images, placeholder text. So it's not exactly your store. So you can't necessarily visualize, right? What your store will look like because it just doesn't have a lot of context to it. It just shows you all the sections that they have, which is nice, right? But what you can do here is uh, obviously you can scroll, kind of look around, but I would highly suggest to click on the customize the theme button. So once you do that, this will actually open up the Shopify editor. So you're able to literally build out this store completely how you would want it um, while still using the trial version. So if you see on the top left hand corner, it still says trial, but I actually, I'm able to add images to the slideshow. For example, I can go to slideshow, um, select image, this one, select. So you see now I have a better understanding of how this particular theme is gonna look for my store. Um, and you can actually see the, the nitty gritty um, options, right? And features and, and, and sections within this theme because the, the, theme th the theme trial shows you a glimpse of it. And then when you install it, again, it shows you a glimpse of it, but you don't, you're not sure if the theme supports the fact that this text needs to be on the left-hand side, for example. So in order to change that, you have to actually go in and try to customize it in order to see if that text alignment is possible. So in this case, it is. I can do middle, middle left. So this is what I would highly recommend for everyone to do before you buy any type of theme, install it and then customize it, fully customize it. So make sure that it has all the right features for you. And after you're done with it, click save. And something else that you can do here is if you're still working on it, you don't have to publish this. This still keeps saved in here. You can actually do a preview. You can actually share this with other people um, as you're working with it. You can do a uh, basically share It'll, it'll say in here share preview where you can share this to other people so they can actually see your store while you're building it um, so you can get some feedback on it etc now the cool thing about it is that yeah you're spending a lot of time customizing something that you might not use essentially but the good thing about it is that if you do end up purchasing this and you end up publishing this everything that you've worked on so far gets saved right so if you think that you know this is gonna be the one you've already worked on it all you have to do is pay for it and then publish it and you'll have your store already built. Before we go, don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any questions about any of the themes that we talked about or you wanna learn more about how to grow your clothing brand through Shopify and Facebook. And also, if you stuck around this long, you're probably someone who wants to know the keys to e-commerce growth and success in the long term. Since I know that's probably you, otherwise you would've clicked away, then you need to check out our free training on the five pillars that must be in place in order for you to grow your store consistently and for a very long time. Check out the description. There's a link down there. Click on it, it will help you a lot. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, I wanna hear from you. Leave a comment down below, like this video, subscribe to a channel if you find anything of value in this video or maybe future videos. If you subscribe, you'll see all of our other future videos. We'll appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.